Hey folks, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we will see how we can create the Instagram logo using Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's get started. So to do this, I have created a new document with width to height in the ratio 1 is to 1. Now I'll import the reference logo to do this. Once I have imported the logo and placed it at one corner of the first layer as the reference image, I'll start working on the second layer. It's not compulsory to do so but this is how I do it. When each layer is assigned its shapes and paths, working on it will be much easier than everything being on a single layer. So without much of the talking, let's start our work. Go to the shapes and select the rounded rectangle tool. Now draw a square that is you can press shift and alt together to generate a square that is 1 is to 1 in ratio. Once that's generated, align it to the center of the canvas by pressing the horizontal align and vertical align buttons. After aligning it, adjust the curve of the rounded rectangle to that of the Instagram logo. Once you find that's done, the next step is to assign the gradient that the logo has to the rectangle we have created. So to do that, double click on the gradient so that the gradient option pops up here. Now select the gradient option from the bottom of the color. In this gradient window, now select free transform gradient. You will get an interface like this. Now select points and place points wherever you see there is dark patch of different colors that is here you can see a dark patch of yellow now place a point here where you can see a dark patch of violet and place similar points where you can see different colored patches so you get a smooth gradient once that's done now assign color to each point the color can be assigned using the color picker from the gradients window. Select the color from the reference logo that's placed at the corner. Continue the work for every patches, every points. Once the gradient is set, close the gradient. Now select anywhere with the move tool on the white color of the canvas to deselect the rectangle. After that, go to the shapes and select the rounded rectangle with the fill set to none and strokes set to white. Draw a rounded rectangle that resembles the rounded rectangle in the logo. Now adjust the size of the stroke as needed. After adjusting the stroke size, adjust the curve of the rounded rectangle. Now the two things left to be done is the ellipse at the center as well as the ellipse at the corner of the circle. With the shape tool, now select the ellipse tool and draw the circles as in the logo. Now select the ellipse and the rectangle that we have drawn and align it to the center. Now draw the final ellipse and then the logo is done. This is how the final image will look like. I hope this tutorial will help you gain something valuable. If you feel the same, subscribe to Graphicsia. If you have already subscribed, please leave a like or comment on this video and keep supporting. For free tutorials on Photoshop, Illustrator and Graphic Designing, Subscribe and follow graphics here. Thank you.